Today we're going to make a shamrock stout beef pot pie, just in time for St. Patty's Day. So let's get started. Let's heat a little olive oil in a hot cast iron pan. Now I'm going to add some cubed up chuck roast, a liberal amount of salt and pepper. Now to add some color and some flavor, we're going to brown the meat. Now I'm going to add chopped onion and garlic. Cook this just until the onion begins to sweat. Now I'm adding a bottle of Guinness Extra Stout. Beef broth. A small pinch of thyme. Now cover, bring it up to a simmer and let it simmer for about an hour or until the meat is tender. After about an hour our meat is tender and our liquid has reduced. And now I'm going to add cubed up carrots and potatoes. And just a little bit more beef broth. Bring it back up to a simmer, cover, and cook on low until the potatoes and carrots are tender. Once the vegetables are fork tender, we're going to add a little cornstarch slurry to tighten up our gravy. Once the gravy is thickened up, turn the heat off and add a half a cup of frozen peas. The peas will finish cooking when the pot pie is baking, and this way you don't have mushy peas. Now I've lined a 9 inch pie dish with my soon to be famous homemade pie dough. Yes, that is a picture of me on the box. Now spoon in all your meat and vegetables. And if you forgot to add in Worcestershire sauce earlier, now is a good time. Give it a little mix just to get the Worcestershire sauce down into the sauce. Now cover the top with a second piece of your Wolf Boy dough. After trimming and crimping the edges, I had a little excess dough, so I rolled it back out and made a shamrock to stay festive with St. Patrick's Day. So now we're going to give this an egg wash. And last but not least, pop a couple vent holes, and this goes into a 425 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until golden brown. And then let it cool for 10 to 15 minutes before cutting into, and that'll help hold the insides together a little bit. And that's all there is to it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you give this a try, and we'll see you next time.